Hey what's up guys this is over here welcome back to another video sorry I haven't been uploading lately but I'll hopefully try to be more consistent with my uploads so today we're going to be talking about TPA there was a previous plugin which is known as TPA but for some reason I think it got outdated and the owner of the plugin stopped updating it so it basically stopped working so today we have a new plugin for TPA and the school teleportation which allows you to teleport basically so we're going to download it by clicking on code and then the download and after downloading it you could just go ahead and compile it and if you have no idea what i'm talking about you could check my video on how to compile the plugins but i've went ahead and compiled it already i'll leave a link down below to the plugin directly so you'll get the plugin by copying it from the objective files and go to debug copy the plugin file go to your server what depends on the server you have and drag it plugins and paste it i already have it inside of here i cannot paste this again and once you've pasted it you could sort your server and after you've sorted your server let's talk about the config quickly <coughs> so it's called teleport teleportation you'll go to the config and the config is fairly simple so this is the message color it's gray you could change it to whatever you want for example yellow you have the tpa cooldown which is the cooldown between teleporting after after teleporting basically and the tpa delay this is the delay before you get teleported and this is the allow cave so if you know unturned and you know the map Russia it has a cave inside so allow cave is on false so if a player is inside that cave a player from outside the cave cannot teleport inside the cave or to the player inside the cave so this is the raid and there is a plugin which allows you to raid basically by using the command slash raid so this disables teleporting while a player is raiding and this is the raid duration and allow, allow combat which is basically when a player gets hit can a player tp to him if you keep it on false a player cannot teleport to another player that's inside of combat and this is the combat duration and the combat duration is 20 seconds basically and by the way the raid duration is basically it doesn't have to be slash raid only if you for example a player destroys uh, let's just say a tree not a tree maybe a wall that's considered as raid and you cannot teleport in the 30 second duration so that's it let's talk about the permissions quickly let's go to the permission file permissions i'm using notepad plus plus by the way to edit this file so we have the tpa and tpa.send tpa.accept and tpa.deny so these are the four permissions that you'll need and yeah that's it for this quick tutorial I'll, i tried to keep it as short as possible and hope you've enjoyed and hope i've helped you out and i'll see you in the next video